So the Boeing company released the 747, and Airbus launched the A380 in the early 2000s. Now in 1997, Sukhoi began the development of a super heavy passenger and transport aircraft, also known as the KR-860 or the Wings of Russia. Now it was meant to be Russia's direct answer to the 747, and enter into a market that was still relatively maturing. The plane would be capable of transporting of up to 860 people, as the name suggests, for a range of 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers in a free class layout. Now at the same time, the landing and disembarking of people would be greatly helped by the built-in lowering ladders. Now this technical solution reduces the dependence of the aircraft on the ground infrastructure. Now although the layout of the plane was conventional in appearance, the company succeeded in achieving a predicted lift and drag ratio. One of the more unusual features of the 860 was the use of the folding outer wings to reduce the footprint of the aircraft. Now for the first time, folding wingtips were supposed to be used, which would significantly reduce the parking dimensions of the aircraft. As a result, the 860 would occupy no more space on the ground than the 747. Boeing had a similar system during the design of the 777, but the idea was dropped as the gain in space at the gate wasn't enough to offset the increased weight and the complexity. Now while the main landing gear was very similar to the 747 and the A380, the nose landing gear was more like the Antonov 124 with two units. Like the integral air stairs on the Illusion IL-86, these were meant to reduce the ground support needed for the KR-860. However, for the Russian air transport market, an 860-seater plane was way too excessive. Therefore, the passenger version of the 860 is focused, where the need for such a big plane was becoming more and more obvious. It was expected that it would gain interest in countries like China and India. The first step in this direction was already being made. During the development of the aircraft, much attention was paid to the issues and ensuring that safety and survival of the passengers. When creating the Wings of Russia, extensive domestic cooperation was proposed. In 1997, negotiations were already underway between Sukhoi, Tupolev and Yakovlev on the creation of such an aircraft. The company estimated the cost of the development of the 860 would be offset with its use in cargo transport and it was estimated that the cost would be something between $5.5 billion. Although the 860 was very ambitious, there was simply not enough passenger traffic in Russia to justify an aircraft of its size. The company turned to both India and China, which had a booming passenger markets, to explore the possibility of a partnership. At the end of the day though, the size and the scope of the 860 was simply more than both Sukhoi and the Russian government could handle and with more pressing financial needs, the government became disinterested in investing in the Super Jumbo. Now Russian aviation authorities were highly skeptical of the need of the 860, given that most of the planes that might get built would be exported overseas to more booming aviation markets. As a result, the KR-860 program died quietly as the company shifted its resources to much smaller aircraft. The creation of Wings of Russia did not receive support from the government of the Russian Federation, and there were no Russian companies in the list of participants of the A380 project.